Hey everyone and welcome back to Silver Run Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're just up at the old sawmill and um, what we're going to do to start off with today is just cut down a few more trees and drag them over to the actual sawmill itself. So I'm just going to cut these ones down with the chainsaw and use the winch system on the John Deere skidder to drag them over. We don't need many to top it up but I thought we may as well start up here and get these topped up. And then what we can do is take the semi truck back with our trailer uh, with a load of pallets because we have got a lot of pallets up here now. Uh, we've, we've got a lot of money's worth of pallets. So, because we are now into April, the poplars have all been planted as well. So they're all growing. That did take me quite a while to do. Um, but that's a job that's all done now. I completely give up with trying to work with the poplars because he literally just stopped every single row so it's kind of a waste of time so I just yeah I just did it myself um, just to get that done so you can say yeah we'll probably need to put about four or five trees in I think to get this popped up fully I think that's the last tree we need to actually put in. I think it's uh, full now, so it should take that when the capacity's um, freed up. So we'll just check, just to make sure. Yeah, it's 109,711. So I'll take that tree when it's got a little bit of room for it. And actually, I don't want to cut it up because it won't be able to take the rest of it. So yeah, we'll leave that there. So what we're going to do is jump into the semi uh, and then we're going to load up the pallets or as many of the pallets as we can. I think we've got way more than one trailer's worth, probably about two or three. So we'll fit on what we can. I, I have topped up the boat yard so I did take a few pallets down of what was required for the next stage of the boat or uh, the first stage of the next boat. So what we'll do first is we'll take the planks from in here, uh, the long planks and wood beams. We'll have to check on the other productions because they may need topping up. So we might need to take some of these round to those. Uh, we do also need to at some point today go up to the iron furnace, uh, top that up with iron ore because that's starting to run low. That's 6,000 long planks and 8,000 wood beams. We'll see if we can fit a few more on. As you can see, we've got loads of prefab walls. Uh, we've got loads of wood beams, long planks, short planks. We've got <laughs> literally loads of everything. This, the amount this uh, sawmill produces is absolutely crazy. Right, that's saying it's full. I always find sometimes if you do the unload and reload it puts them on a bit better and you may be able to squeeze a few more on there we go right, so we've got 11,000 and then 9,000 on the wood beam so we'll take these down to the town area we'll check on the productions see if anything needs topping up and then the wood beams and the planks we can then take to sell Okay, so a few of our productions need topping up, starting with the barrel factory. Then we'll take some long planks round to the shingle factory and also the furniture factory. No, the wood turner is the one that needs it. The furniture factory is fine because it only currently only using the long planks for Yeah, we're currently only using the long planks at the furniture factory for the armoire so don't need a lot there because it doesn't produce a huge amount of those 
Uh, so, yeah, we do. we've got so many products down here as well. Um, we've probably got well over a million pounds if we've what we've got in the bank if we was to sell everything, uh, which is a little bit crazy. So we'll drop these long planks off. I will probably will have to go and get another load because I don't think we're going to have enough here for the wood turner as well. And this might take all of these. Yeah, that's taken all that. So yeah, we'll go and sell the wood beams. Trying to think if well, we'll take some to the roller coaster first. Um, I don't think that particularly needs any more, um, but we, if it'll take some, then we'll say sell some there, and then we can just take the rest over to the silver and market. Oh, that's taken all of them. 47,890. So I'm going to head back up to the old sawmill and get another load. And then we'll get those delivered and then we can sell what's left from those as well. Um, I am really tempted to start just setting some of the productions that produce products that we don't require. Like for the boatyard, uh, just onto selling now. Because it, even with the auto load trailer, it can take so long to go around loading up the products and then taking them to where they need to go so yeah I'm really tempted to start just putting stuff on auto sell we won't make as much money but um, I say we don't need to worry about money on this map anymore it's uh, quite easy to make a decent amount of money well, I've been round and delivered long planks to all the productions that require them I did sell another load of wood beams down at the roller coaster I also accidentally sold some long planks to I think it was the art accessories as I was reversing out of the shingle factory I accidentally reversed into the sell point for that so we've got a few more of the short planks and long uh, wood beams on here I think there's still a few more wood beam pallets back up the old sawmill and then there's all the prefab walls as well uh, we probably won't sell those we do need to go and get some metal though because the barrel factory is running low on metal so i think next stop will be to head up to the iron furnace uh, we'll top up the iron ore and then we can load up the metal that we've got there and then bring that down deliver some to the barrel factory to top that up and uh, we'll probably take some round to the roller coaster and then sell what what's left at the silver and market so yeah we're up to 481,000 now I think we could easily get break a million if I sold everything we've got because we've still got all the prefab walls and then we've got all the furniture pallets uh, buckets barrels flooring tiles shingles uh, the wood turner products as well uh, as well as all the metal we've got um, that we're going to pick up now so yeah a lot of money's worth Okay, so we're up at the iron furnace. As you see, we've got quite a few pallets of metal. So we'll get these loaded up first. Not sure if we have a full load. We might just have. Oh, oh no, there's still loads more in the uh, in the actual building itself. So yeah, there's the full trailer load and we've still got a few pallets left over. What I'm going to do is leave that there for a sec and I think we are... Yeah, we're down to 11,000 litres of iron ore so we'll top this up while we're here. So I'll probably just put a few loads in and then we can get the metal down to the town and our productions and then get some of that sold as well. So that's the iron ore all topped up so we should be 
That's 50,000. I completely forgot about the paper factory. <laughs> we got, I've just literally seen that and just realised that we did buy the paper factory. Um, I did top that up uh, from the... Uh, we had a trailer of wood left up at the new area of forest we was clearing. And so I did top that up before the last video. So yeah, we're up to 59,988 litres of all there. So we don't need to worry about that again for a while. And it looks like we've still got another 2,000 litres of all, uh, metal inside the building as well. And I said, what we'll do with this, we'll deliver a load to the barrel factory, take some to the furniture factory as well, as that also requires metal. Uh, then we'll sell the rest at the roller coaster if it takes any, and then silver and market again. But this is probably going to take us up close to 600,000. I think normally for a full trial load we get around 120. Okay, we'll deliver the first load to the barrel factory. As you can see, we've got quite a few pallets here of Uh, buckets and barrels, there's probably a few more in storage, oh yeah, 7,000 litres of each in storage as well. So yeah, <laughs> quite a lot of stuff there. Uh, but we've delivered, what's that, we had 28, so... So 4,000... 700 and... was that 86, 84 litres? of metal so we'll deliver some to the furniture factory which I don't think needs a lot because it's only using it for the one production which is not particularly fast I think that may be full so let's just double check yeah metal's full on that one so we can sell the rest so 22,811 litres left in there or pieces not sure how the metals worked out uh, but we'll take the rest of the roller, case, roller coaster first again, and then silver and marketplace it. And the roller coaster usually doesn't take a huge amount of metal, so I don't think they're going to take much off us. Yeah, probably less than a few thousand litres. So we've still got 20,455 left on here. Although we've still got 28 pallets on it, so obviously taking little bits from lots of different pallets rather than just taking one full pallet. Uh, yeah, I've come to the wrong place. <laughs> I keep doing that, I keep going to the... When I was bringing the wool over, I kept bringing the wool to... taking the wool to the silver and marketplace. We don't want the spinnery. I don't think the metal want the spinnery, unless they're uh, making chain mail now. Quite a lot of the weight's been taken from the front. <laughs> Struggling with the steering for a little, a little bit now. Right, so we'll get this sold and then we can get on with today's main job, which will be to get the, the other field prepped up and then sown with soybeans. So 108,472 takes us just over 600,000. And we've still got a lot of stuff we could sell as well. Uh, we've got... I, I'm not even sure how many prefab walls are up there. We say they have like 10,000 each, so we've definitely got a few hundred thousand of prefab walls up there. Uh, still, there's a few other pallets up there as well, and then we've got all the other ones. So, yeah, we definitely could easily break over a million if we were to sell everything. Uh, but we'll leave the rest of it for next time as I want to try and get this field done. Uh, so first thing we're going to do will be to go over this with the mulcher so we can actually mulch it first. Uh, so grass could do with another fertilisation. I'm not sure if we can put that on because it is now ready to harvest. Um, but it's something we may have a look at doing. So if we jump into the John Deere and uh, we'll get the Batwing mower hooked up, but we'll switch it to the mulcher so we can go over this field first and mulch it. And while we've got the money as well, once we've finished doing the crop, 
we'll um, we're just checking that tree then <laughs> from, from this angle I thought there was another fully grown tree there that's just on the other side of the track um, yeah we'll completely lost what I was thinking then <laughs> yeah we'll get this changed to the mulch yet so if we customize and we want this as a mulch it yes actually we'll repair it as well while we're there get it hooked back up Uh, yeah, well, um, while we've now got a lot of money, we can finish doing the, the farmyard area. So I still want to put a little bit more fencing in and then just change a little bit of the landscaping around that side of the building. And up by the sheep pasture as well, I just want to try and adjust the fence a little bit down by the track. And then we can also finish the track off because I didn't fully finish painting in the area in. So we'll get that switched on and lowered down and then we can get this field mulched. So that's the mulching all done. From that tiny little bit there I missed. And get that switched off and turned off. So yeah, next job will be to get the soybean so uh, sown. Now I'm going to do soybean simply because we we can use the seed drill that we've got. We don't need to buy anything else. I say I do want to try and get this track put in so put an access in this side as well and then continue that fence down one other thing we could also probably do with doing is getting a pressure washer at some point so we can start cleaning off our equipment which is something I haven't done yet at all we'll just get this put away and then we'll switch over to the seed drill should have enough seed in it soybeans don't generally take a lot of seed so we should have more than enough to do that field there's no huge amount in there but that should be enough to get this done and I think actually we may have some left in a big bag over at the store as well if we need it yeah I think we do I think I'll go and fill up first just to get that big bag out of the way I know we're safe as the train has literally just passed I'm sure at some point that crossing is going to catch me out <laughs> uh, some, sometimes I just about hear the bell ringing as I'm approaching it and you can just kind of work out that it's uh, on its way Right, so we'll get this dropped down. And then we can get the soybean sewn. little bit for the soybeans 
and that's the planting all done. So the next job will be to go over the field with a roller and then we'll spray it with herbicide as a pre-emerge spray to prevent the weeds coming through. So we shouldn't have to then deal with weeds later. So we're going to drop this off. What I might actually do first is I did leave this little gap just down here so we've got somewhere to wash equipment off so if we go build mode and we'll go tools and we'll get the pressure washer in this way we can uh, start cleaning our equipment off once we've finished using it this drill does look a little bit dirty we'll get this cleaned off and then we can get this put away it's one of those things, this drill doesn't quite fit in any of our sheds. It's a little bit too big. Uh, but we could possibly look at upgrading it to a slightly larger one the next time. That's if we do another round of crops. I'm not sure how we're going to progress on this map in the future. As we're already making a lot of money. And so once the roller coaster is doing... Yeah, I don't know what else we uh, where where else we can go on this map. Now there's a, still a little bit to do before then, so we've still got quite a bit to do. Well, I'm not sure how long the roller coaster is going to be. I imagine it's going to not be too far off being finished. So we'll drop this off here. And then we want the rollers. Which are just beyond our fuel trailer. So we've still got plenty of hay and the sheep are not really taking much hay at all. We've probably got enough to last us probably this year and through to the end of next year as well. So I don't know if we will even need to do a cut of grass for the sheep this year so we'll get the rollers dropped down just check that so we are currently 105% with the crop rotation uh, with one layer of fertilizer so 33 percent fertilized so current yield bonus is only plus 68 so this should take it up to 70 and then the next load of fertilizer should take us up to the 100 percent Rolling all done once we get that tiny little spot. And that's another job all done. I'm just going to double check that we have got everywhere. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, it's all mulched and rolled. Actually, there's this tiny, tiny little bit there I've missed. I did actually forget to do the oat field as well. Uh, I did say in the last video I was going to go over the rollers and I completely forgot to do it. So that's not been done, uh, which is not a massive issue. Uh, it does mean that we've got a few stones still in there that I didn't manage to get pushed in. I think now we have finished the rolling. 
So next job will be to spray with herbicide as a pre-emerge spray. So what we'll do first is I'll just drop this off in the wash area. We'll get this washed off before we put it away properly. And then we'll jump in the little John Deere and we'll get the herbicide spraying done. So we'll need to unload the fertiliser first. Drop that outside. And we'll go to head to the store and get a pallet of fertiliser. No, herbicide, sorry. And we can get that sprayed. That's then all our field work done for this month. The next job for that will be harvesting. Which will probably be around about July, I think the first crops potentially will be ready. And then soybeans won't be ready until much later in the year. I'm going to grab a pallet of herbicide. So 2,400 for that way does uh, seem to go quite a long way, the herbicide. And um, pre-spraying as well before the crop starts growing does mean we won't get a reduction in yield. Because uh, obviously if you spray herbicide after the first growth stage on larger weeds, and you do get a slight penalty on the yield, so your maximum yield is reduced. As you can see it's working as the texture is going to the lighter one from the dark fertilised texture. So this is what we do on, on all the fields now that I haven't been ploughed. So where we get weeds growing I will sow, roll and then spray herbicide on them. However, we won't need to get a mechanical weeder to do it afterwards. the weed spraying or herbicide spraying all done so we switch that back on so we've got the yield bonus plus 70% so with the fertilizer that takes up to 100 and then we've got the crop rotation bonus as well 105% so we will get a little bit of boost on that so we will need to get another couple of rounds of fertilizer on there and we won't get any weeds just show now yeah, no weeds at all so that's another job done and pretty much all our say farm work done for today so we'll get this dropped off uh, actually yeah we'll keep this on the back of here because I don't think we've got much else to use for this tractor at the moment we'll just put this back in here Closed, and we'll get that closed. Now we'll just check on the chickens. We did top these up last time, yep. Yeah. Uh, we do have four four pallets of eggs. We'll just check when the best price is. So, time saving stock mod, uh, which is always super handy. 
So yeah, the max price for eggs is roughly around about 3,000. The current price is only one nine. So it's not the best time to be selling eggs. So let's just check. Yeah, one nine is the best. And so yeah, we're looking at November before we sell the eggs. And uh, you can see how much we've got. I've got to keep forgetting this uh this mod to check because it does give you the full price for everything you've got. So prefab wall, it's showing we've got 15,779 litres, but I think that's just what's in storage. Uh prefab walls. That doesn't seem quite right. Yeah, that'll be right. 15. We've got about 15 pallets, so 166,000 potentially if we sold at Elm Creek of. And you can see all the others floor tiles, 90,000, 74,000 carton roll. Uh, paper, we've got 86,000. We've got another 71,000 of metal, 57,000 shingles, 44,000 tables. We've got a lot of money's worth of stuff. I just do really do think this map is way too easy to make money on. So yeah, I'm not sure what the next job will be. Just double check everything again. Uh, so the old sawmill topped up first thing so that one's sorted we don't need to worry about that for a while iron ore we topped up as well so we don't need to worry about that uh, the furniture factory is low on uh, log planks but like I say we're only producing the armoires for that so that's not um, anything we need to worry about but we'll top that up next time floor tiles I'm only doing from planks just so we've got enough long planks for the other productions and that one was topped up as well. Now uh, it does look like we're going to need to move some pallets from that soon. Uh, same with the barrels and buckets. We are getting full on the internal storage on those as well. well that one's all topped up. Paper mill is fine. There's like plenty of wood in there and plenty of space. The shingle factory also needs clearing because we are getting very close to being full on that. Uh, wall. Probably top up the wall next time for the fabric and the wood turn. I also could do with having the pallets cleared out of the way. So I think what we'll do next is go and get the semi again. We'll load up all the pallets from the barrel factory, shingle factory, flooring factory, and anything else we've got in town just to clear those areas. So we'll do the barrel factory first, as it's the closest one. And then we'll just take everything we get from here to sell. So we'll pretty much do the same as we did earlier. We'll go roller coaster, sell everything at the roller coaster that it'll take, and then silver on market for the rest of it.
Okay, so last try load of products from our production is down here. We have got quite a lot. We're up to 776,000. As I say, we'll do the same roller coaster. See if that'll take any more of anything. I took quite a few staircase railings and a few more floor tiles. As I say, we'll do the rest over at Silver and Market. Well, I'm not sure how much we're going to get for the rest of this, but we're going to be probably close to 900,000. If not more. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to break 900. Or are we just... Just... Only just... 908,000. Another 120,857 for that. Uh, so next we'll... I'm just trying to think where it'll be worth... Doing, because I don't think we can fit many... F of the prefab walls onto here. So it may be... Well, we'll see. I'm gonna. I'll go up there to the old sawmill and we'll load up as many prefab walls as we can. As we're so close now to breaking a million, I think we may as well sell what we've got the prefab walls because uh, we've got enough there to take us over a million. So I had a slight change of plan. Didn't bother loading the truck. We've got so many pallets still left up here. Well, it'd be probably easy just to rent the train. So we've got this last pallet of long planks to put on and we can get this sent off to Elm Creek so we can then get paid for all these products. So yeah, this should definitely take us well over a million. I would say it just shows how easy this map is to make money on normal. Um, had I realised it was so easy to make money, I'd probably switched it to hard economy at the start. I didn't quite expect it to be the way it is. I'm also quite surprised on how cheap some of the areas of farmland are considering it's like a giant's map and usually they're quite expensive areas of land. So let's get the train started up and just double check all the straps are on. I've lost a uh, prefab wall. Let's see if we can get that to. Right, <laughs> we stopped the train. Let's see if we can get that one to load back on. Nope. All right. We we'll just have to try and uh, push it along. See if it comes out <laughs> to a point where I can get it put back on. There we go. I seem to be having a few issues with the uh, straps on this train recently. So I'll get a stop there. I don't know if this one I'll fit back on now. Oh, I have to unload first and then reload. There we go. Just double check that has actually got the straps on. Yep. Now we can sell it to Old Creek. <laughs> Right, we'll just double check as well. I did come up here and there was the odd pallet of uh, short planks that had fallen off the train. Can't see anything. Yeah, so sometimes there is the odd pallet jumps off the train because it seems to, when it hits the barrier for the cell point, it takes the straps off and the pallets go flying in the air. Uh, but that's all that's sold anyway. We're up to $1,113,008. So not a bad day's work. I think we started on... I can't remember how much we actually started the day on. Yeah, not sure. I'd have to go back and look in the video. I think we had a few hundred thousand. So we haven't quite made... I oh, should, should just be able to look at the financial page. So sold products just in April to 829,379 in total. 
So yeah, not not a bad a bad month's work. Uh, just shows how easy it is to make money on this map. That we can make that much money from the productions, and we don't own all of them either. Um, we've got loads of fully grown trees here. We've got the poplars planted now. We've got the other saplings growing down the other end. So one thing I'm probably going to do before we uh, move on from this area is probably get a few more saplings replanted, get the tree harvester back down the other end of the map and uh, get some saplings planted down there as well. What I'm tempted to actually do is buy the small of all though, uh, set that one up with the fast coupler so we can just keep this one as a tree harvester because technically switching between the fast coupler and that is not really a, a thing you would do very often because you have to change the whole front arm as there's an extra ram on the fast coupler attachment so it's not just a case of dropping that hanger off and attaching the fast coupler so it, it's a big job actually to swap that over so in a kind of way it's not a very realistic thing to keep customizing that to change it because it's not something uh, that would be done very often so getting a second one of these or possibly just the smaller one because we wouldn't need one uh, this big with the fast coupler on uh, to use I'm also tempted as well now we've got a lot of money to get a second semi truck so we can have one with the flatbed on and then transport some of the equipment around with that and then I ha have another one for logging trailer and for some other jobs as well uh, but as for today's I think we'll leave it there for today. We've, as I say, made a lot of money. Uh, we've got the soybeans planted, that filled, rolled, mulched, uh, sprayed with herbicide as well. And yeah, we've just got loads more done. Uh, what we will do actually before we do go is just quickly jump down to. So we'll go to the boatyard first. So yeah, I did deliver products it needs. So it should have everything it needs for this stage it will require another pallet or a couple of pallets of fabric um, but our second boat is well underway now so all the ribbing on the hulls almost done uh, the roller coaster as well is still nicely progressing so I'm not sure how many stages there are how far off we are I uh, see we've almost at the end of this current stage I don't know if we can speed up time whether that will finish and um, we'll see what's required for the next one so there we go ticked over to the next stage of the roller coaster again it looks like it pretty much needs a similar amount of stuff it had previously so I think we should be okay with that as well I don't know I think I'm not 100% sure for the last few stages if there's been much of a visual change not as much as there was in the early stages because I can't really see anything else that has changed over the last few ones I've ticked over so I don't know if that's it now visually it won't change now until it's fully completed or unless there is tiny little bits being changes being made but you just can't see them very well uh, but yeah the roller coaster is progressing uh, the next boat is progressing as well I say we've got some uh, Definitely made some more progress on the uh, on the farm um, with the map as well. So yeah, 1.1 million we finished today on. I don't think we start with a loan on easy mode. Well, technically we started on new farmer. I'm pretty sure we don't start with a loan. No, so we've got no loan to pay off. In terms of leased equipment, there is only the fella bunch, which I'm still leaning towards just returning that because I really don't think we'll use it much um, but yeah as I said we'll leave it there for today I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up I really do appreciate that and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel then please do consider subscribing We've got more Farm Simulator 22 content coming up with the Let's Play series uh, time lapse and also the live streams as well so again a big thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one goodbye